Good morning. Today is the start of a fresh week and yesterday I sat down and made my menu plan for the week and trying to use what I had in the pantry and my freezer to pull together some meals. So let me show you what I came up with. All right, so we have our normal rotation of food in the morning. However, one of these oatmeal things may get switched out because I found a recipe online for almond sweet rolls. I have that can of almond filling. I'm not sure if almond filling and almond paste are the same thing. I'm going to check on that and if it is we're going to use that can of almond filling to make those sweet rolls so then we'll use those in place of one of our breakfast oatmeal things. We're having company on Tuesday so we're going to be making an extra large, in fact it's a family of eight I believe seven or eight that will be joining us so that's going to be a pretty big batch of pizza roll-ups and then here I'm using up the leftover ham that we cooked on Saturday. And then I just have some different different items that I'm trying to use. The tomato soup, I use some of my canned tomatoes for that. And then the black bean and quinoa bake, that's something that I've been interested in trying for a while. And then the biscuits and great gravy, again, I'm going to be using some stew bones. In fact, I have a stew shank right here to make the biscuit and gravy with. And then this is just basic, my basic pinto beans and cornbread recipe with leftovers for dinner on Saturday. It's a basic plan. We'll see how it all pans out. Sometimes if we have more leftovers or left, left, or sometimes when we have more leftovers than I think, we have to adjust that a little bit. Or sometimes I don't feel like making one thing, so I'll switch it for one of the other meals plans. But we kind of keep the same thing, and it's just nice to know these are the ingredients that I have for these recipes for this week, so I can mix and match them wherever I want to. Art and Charity went down to the freezer and they picked out a bunch of the meat to thaw out, so we'll be ahead of the game. I also have one can of the pre-made Libby's pumpkin pie mix, and I found a recipe on the Libby's website for crumble top pumpkins and so I'll probably make those this week to go with one of our meals just so we can get rid of that can of pumpkin and I'm trying to really whittle down that small pile of food we've got a box of couscous that I'll probably just throw in on one of our meals and then I have a can of baked beans again I'll probably throw that into one of our um, side dishes with one of our meals so right now I'm feeling really good about what I have planned so far we'll see how we can keep going um, if I haven't checked the flyers this week to see if there's any like amazing deals that I need to go for last week there was a good sale on butter they were 99 cents a pound butter here right now has been ranging from 329 to 499 a pound so 99 cents was a really good price but I never ended up getting a, getting a chance to running down there and getting that, so we passed up on that. Um, other than that, we're doing really good with the challenge, and I would like you guys to tell me down below what kind of menu you have planned or dishes and what you think you've been successful this past week with your menu planning and what you're looking forward to this week. We are working on cleaning up and dancing to some film music. Of course, Peter's hiding in the cat. She's right there. <laughs> you like the music, Mary? Does it make picking up fun? As if I were a chicken. If I were a chicken. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for our family. So that's what we put. We worked at school this morning and then we did some um, charity help make lunch. And now we're trying to pick up the house and get that tidied because our company is coming first thing in the morning so we want to make sure everything's done tonight and when Art gets home he doesn't have to worry about picking up or tidying or cleaning or anything like that. That looks good. Did you do the stool yet? Yeah. The whole house has been vacuumed and mopped. Hi Mary, I'm downstairs and everything looks good and clean. It always feels good to have everything nice and clean. I've been trying to stay on top of the floors a lot more because Lillian is at that age where she's crawling a lot, starting to crawl and move around on the floors and I don't want her picking up all that stuff and then putting it in her mouth. Oh, Mary. You put um, my key 
handle. Since I'm caught up at work, it's making me want to do some work at home. And also, uh, there's a lot of work going on here too uh, with the cleanup. Uh, this charity swept and vacuumed the floors. Janelle did some work today. Uh, a lot of stuff is getting done. And also right now, let me show you what Charity is doing. And Charity is making some granola. Charity's getting the bowl of granola ready. She's going to take it to the ambulance car next time she's on call and cook it while she's on call. If she doesn't get too many calls. And Charity's adding the cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't look like enough, then I'll just add more. We're refilling our stock from the basement and loading up our containers from upstairs. There's some popcorn. And then Charity just reloaded the oats. Oats. Lots of oats. Yeah. We made oatmeal with this and granola. Right. And we like it. I'm going to soak some chickpeas and we're going to make some hummus. Yummy. Okay, let Grace do one. We'll just let that sit for a day and then it'll be ready to make hummus. Next on the agenda is making some of these almond sweet rolls and we're going to be using our can of almond filling for this. Hey, Debbie. Hang on. Let me get, let's get it over. Stop, we're gonna turn off the machine. Turn it off. Okay, let me, hang on. Do not dump it in, hold it. Lower it down, now we go. One. And we need three, three. Can't we lift the bowl up? Turn it on one click. There we go. And now we let it mix. The dough's all done, so we're gonna put it in our greased dish and let this rise. No, we don't need that right yet. We have to wait until. We're ready to make the rolls, but this has to rise first, Mary. It's been almost two hours since I started the dough and it rose really nicely. The recipe said to use almond paste and then add sugar and an egg to it. However, I went online to see if there was a difference between almond paste and almond filling, and pretty much almond paste doesn't have the sugar and egg in it, and almond filling is pre-made, ready to go. So I'm just going to change the recipe up a little bit, surprise, surprise, and roll these out, just put the almond filling in it, and then awesome. cook it that way. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that works. I'm gonna taste, I've what? never opened an almond filling. Remember last time I made almond paste. So I've never tasted an almond filling, but as long as it tastes good, that's what's gonna go in these rolls. Okay, Peter, you can go ahead and open that up. What is this made we'll of? see how it's almonds and sugar. Did you make something with this? It was almond paste. It wasn't almond filling. And then you made it into candy? Now what did you... I turn it into? Charity, what did I turn it into something gross? Oh, it tasted nasty. And then Daddy started using them for every single snack. I don't remember. All right, so. Can I smell it? Smells good. Yeah, smells pretty fine. <laughs> Tastes like almonds. <laughs> That looks good. Are you gonna put chocolate chips in there? No. What are you gonna put in? Only that, what else? Peanut butter? I think this is not really good. Peanut butter solves every sign. Doesn't it? Peanut butter no. solves Peanut a lot of problems. What do you think, Art? They look good. What is it? It's the almond filling. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's you used it up. Hey, that's one of the things out of our pantry. That's one of the, that's why I'm making these because I would never make them any other reason. But hey, it might yes. prove to be one of why our new favorite that? recipes. It might, we might have to buy a whole bunch more. 
Nah, this, this guy looks a little anemic. There. Yeah, oh, it's sticky. I wonder if that's too much filling. Yeah, it'll work. Oh well. Now we you don't... have too much filling. <laughs> sticky hands. They have risen, and I'm just preheating the oven so I can bake them. Mary, what did I do with you and Grace while we were waiting for them to rise? Mm. Okay. Double one. Books. How many books did we read? One, two, three, four, five. What did no we way. read about? Can you me? Did we read about? You've got to know. Do we have two of We read about frogs. Squid. Squids. Sharks. No, we didn't do sharks. We did saw we? one. Last night, Lillian got up four times in the night. So, <laughs> I sat down on the couch to read to the girls and I also got very, very sleepy. And I told the girls, no more books or I'm going to fall asleep. So they're working on getting their jammas done or getting their jammas on and then we'll brush their teeth and get them ready for bed. Hopefully they're settled down from reading because I found that if you read to them at night, they tend to go to bed a little bit better because they're not ramped up from playing and running around. Um, and then I'll put the... Bist or the I'll put the rolls in the oven and let them cook. I think they'll take about 20 minutes. So what was your favorite part that we read tonight? Baba. I don't think we read about Baba. Did you turn the light off for me? She likes the candle. Because it makes it look pretty and peaceful in here. We are done and all cooked and they look really, really good. They say to frost them. I don't know if I will or not. And the chair got an ouchie, so Art is fixing that. The handyman that he is. Ooh. Okay, we'll see if we can fix it and make it work again. Yay. Yeah, both of them. That looks good. Yum. Don't those look yummy? Yeah. Art and the kids are doing some Mad Libs no, while Art was fixing the chair. We just have to let the glue dry for the night. Okay. Chairs. Do people know what Mad Libs are? I think somebody, one of them sent it to us. Mad Libs are funny. They ask you these words and then you write them down here. And then you put them into the story. I see two adjectives. Let's see, two adjectives. How about um, wet and green? And then He's doing weird ones. Weird ones. Yeah, I'm trying to do weird ones. Plural nouns. You're not supposed mm. to do weird ones. Uh, yeah, that's really? just something really strange. Billy's with yellow. No, no. Has to be plural. Teapots. <laughs> Is that weird enough, though? Oh, she snickered over there. <laughs> okay, what do you have? The who? Graveyard Beamers. <laughs> in the bottom of the tent inning, when the car snips stepped up to the plate, there were two outs and a CV joint on the third. <laughs> All Boston needed was one more um, radio color to bring home my victory. O.J. Simpson, a dirty speaker bolt venture through a terrific flat flannel shirt. I think the batter, ouch. Should have been as pink as one, two, three, but the ball went right through the base first baseman, the Twinkies. Rise up the Twinkies and Booger her throughout the stands. The player on third becomes scoring the winning wisdom to Today, to this day, wet baseball fans still talking about the game and the green loss for the red teapots. <laughs> Battery is gone dead on the camera. It's plugged in. I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you for tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Coach gave me a tall silver sliver for being a disgusting team player. I'm so proud. I can't wait to smile off my kidney. <laughs> didn't know. I didn't know kidneys could smile. <laughs> I guess they can. <laughs>